All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And this one here is a quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Colossians, the second chapter, and it's starting at the third verse. It says, In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach, Yahavushai. All right, so as is written in the third verse, it says, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. That's with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, dealing with this, dealing with it with this word. Okay. Now you have you have um, treasures of wisdom and knowledge of the world, you know, in certain administrations, certain ways to live, you know, according to the fashion of this world. But Paul also said that the fashion of this world shall pass away, okay? And what wisdom and word abides forever? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word, okay? Which is the true wisdom and knowledge, which, are, which really is the true riches. So it says, in whom are all the hidden treasures of wisdom and knowledge, all right? It says, in this I say, least any man should beguile you with enticing words. And that's why it's important to get understanding. All right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's word. Got a lot of philosophers out here, you know, men who speak false philosophies, and they will beguile you with enticing words. You know, those words, those uh, expensive, you know, those expensive money words. You know, they eloquent, being able to speak well, you know, articulate themselves, you know, but the message behind what they may articulate themselves in is off. You know, if it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then it's against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, and this I say, least any man shall beguile you with enticing words. It says, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. You know, so it's some key words in there, you know, to, uh, to, uh, you know get understanding on all right now it says for though i be absent in the flesh yet am i with you in the spirit what, what is that spirit that's the rakakwadash the holy spirit all right even though yahweh shy yahweh is in our absence you know sort of like an invisible power but he's with us in the spirit okay it says joying and beholding your order that's another key word order all right the lord said that he's not the author of confusion so that means he deals with order. It says, and the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Now, you know, we like to look up words. So, you know, just for edification's sake, let's just see what steadfastness says, what, what it may give us. All right. It says, that which has been made firm. Okay. You know, once you wake up to this truth and you studied, Okay, and the Lord give you that knowledge, that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Your faith is firm. It says that which have been made firm. The firmament, the ark of the sky, right? Okay, the fortified, a fortified place. You know, like someone may fortify a building. You know, make it firm. You know, durable. You know, to withstand. Uh, the winds to withstand, you know, the pressures. That's how our faith, ha our faith, have to be toward Yahweh Bashim Shai, firm, fortified, right? A fortified place, and that gives us also that peace of mind. Okay, while we living in hell, it says that which furnishes a foundation. Okay, so our foundation is furnished. You know, they say they use that word furnished for, for like when you're looking for an apartment. And, you know, they may say in the ad that it's furnished already, meaning that you have a, you know, a, a refrigerator, you have, a, you know, a couch, table, 
Well, guess what? Our faith is furnished. You know, we have the uh, we have the utensils we need in our house. All right, to abide in our house, to be firm in our house. Okay, a fortified place. It says on which a thing rests firmly support. So we have support, okay? We have support. I'm thinking of Hebrews 11 and six, you know? But anyway, it says firm, 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 firmness, steadfastness, all right? Solid front, right? Um, con confirmation, stability. Ooh, stability, firmness, something established. Okay, that's our faith, and that's the faith you know that you want to pray on, pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to have, man. So, uh, back in verse 5, it says, For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. It says, As ye have therefore received Hamashiach Yahweh Shah the Lord, so walk ye in him. All right, meaning, you know, when we woke up and believe in Yahweh Shai and believe in his word, we have to walk in the ways of the Lord. You know, so it's one thing of knowing that you're an Israelite, and it's another thing of you doing the things, all right, in custom of being a Hebrew Israelite. That's two different things, man. All right. And the one that's doing the customs of being of a Hebrew Israelite, believing in with faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, walking in the ordinance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those are the ones that's going to be saved. All right, the elect. It says, as ye have therefore received Hamashiach Yahawashai, the Lord, so walk ye in him. Now, here's the, here's the highlight of the lesson. Verse 7, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Okay, so that's the point you want to get to. You know, this is a, you know, a lesson for the newly fruit coming in. All right. You know, you few sisters also as well that listen, you know, you study and, and you, you practice the righteous acts, rehearse the righteous laws, okay? Because you want to be rooted, rooted and built up in him. In who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It, sa it says, established in the faith. That's that steadfastness, firm, okay? It says, as ye have been taught. And this is what the men of the Lord will teach you, starting with our elders apostles here at Great Millstone. This is what it's all about, all right? The prophets are going to prophesy, say before, and what the Lord told them to say through his word, okay? And also to teach, you know, so you can repent. So this is what you're being taught. You're being taught to do what? Be rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. You want to have that full insurance of faith. You know, we want our faith at the very end to be at its highest peak, man, all right? Because there's really no, no limit to faith. You know, but there is, you know, if you're not rooted, praying in his faith, you know, you're not rooted and built up, then guess what? You can have faith today, but tomorrow your faith could be cast into the oven, you know? Anyway, it says, abounding therein and with thanksgiving. So be thankful, man. Verse 8, it says, beware lest any man should spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tr tr tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world... And not after Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So you got a lot of philosophers speaking false philosophy like Christianity, okay, and these different religions, you know, and sayings of the world. They'll come to you with vain deceit, with vain lies, okay? After the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shai. It says, For in him dwell dwelleth with all fullness of the Godhead bodily. Let me read that again. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Now, when we look that word Godhead up, check this out. Strong's G 2320. Theates. Theates. Okay, the Greek word there is diates. Now it says deity, the state of being God, Godhead. All right, now it was not written in uh, Psalms 82, okay, that the Lord said that we are gods. All right, we're gods with a lowercase g to the other nations. So we want to have that Godhead bodily, 
you know, we're supposed to walk and man ourselves, you know, in a, in a, in a righteous uh, uh, way, okay? Being holy, which means to be separate. We say it all the time. You have to walk in that ordinance, walk in that Godhead bodily. What Godhead means, the state of being God, Godhead, all right? We're gods unto these other nations. We're royal, all right? Um... Right. Okay, so that's basically the point. Like I said, this was a quick hit, straight to the point. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.